Hey everybody, glad to have you on here. We're trying something new today. Um, so we're going to only take about 60 seconds to, um, so you don't have to skip ahead if you're watching this later. Um, we're only going to take about 60 seconds to wait for people to uh, get on. So if you're jumping on, let me know. Good morning, Sonny. I have just included a link to a Facebook page I'm making for this. I'm calling it First 15 Live. And so um, if you will, go ahead and like that. If you haven't shared, go ahead and do that. We'll, we'll scrunch everything in real quick here in 60 seconds. So go ahead and do that. Any prayer requests you got, drop them in. Glad to have all of you on there, Katie. Glad to have you. Corey, glad to have you. Both Corey's. The other Corey I think I saw on there. Thank you for your share. Corey, Margaret, glad to have you. Tammy, glad to have you. All right. We'll give it just a few seconds longer, and we're going to jump in. So if you haven't shared, please go ahead and share. And we're going to try to dive in. My goal is to try to keep it around five minutes-ish, if I can get there. Um, less than ten for sure. But um, I'm going to try to keep it around five. Uh, and then encourage you to spend um, the next, my goal is 15 minutes that you spend with the Lord. So spend some time in prayer and maybe some worship music and all of that. So um, you can, um, maybe we'll try to include a, a, a video from YouTube or something with a worship song in it as we go along um, that people can look to. In fact, if there's any good worship songs that you guys love, you can post a link to the video, um, the YouTube video on here and... Uh, and uh, so others can, can worship to that once we get done. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, if you're ready, give me some thumbs up. We're coming from 1 Kings chapter 13, and this is a crazy story in the Bible. So to sum it up, here's what happens. Um, there is an old prophet, uh, well, there's this prophet that goes to the king of Israel. You know, the nation is now split, and the king of Israel is doing some really wicked stuff. He set up some pagan gods and all that. And so the prophet gets this word from God. He goes to the king, tells him what's going to happen, and everything starts to happen. It's just this powerful moment. And this prophet, young prophet, calls him the young prophet, could have been a great prophet. Well, on his way back, um, there's this old prophet that hears about what he did. And the old prophet comes to him. And one of the things God had told this young prophet was not to stay in, in, in Israel, but to leave Israel um, and not to eat anything while he was there. Well, the prophet comes to him and says, hey, come home and, and eat with me and let's talk. And, and uh, the old prophet says that to the young prophet. The young prophet says, no, I can't. You know, the Lord's told me not to do this. And the old prophet says, well, the Lord told me that you're supposed to come home and eat. But he was lying to him. And so he comes home and he eats with the guy. And then, um, and then we come to this verse. Um, in verse 21, the old prophet, he cries out to the younger prophet. This is what the Lord says. You have defied the word of the Lord. And have disobeyed the command of the Lord, uh, the command the Lord your God gave you. And he goes on to say that um, now you're going to die, and, and you're not going to be buried with your ancestors, and all this terrible stuff, um, which is kind of crazy because it was the old prophet that told him to come back. It's the old prophet that lied to him and told him what God had said, and so everything happens. He goes on. He's killed by a lion. The old prophet buries him and weeps over him. Um, it's a real odd story in First Kings. Chapter 13, we're reading it because we're reading through the one-year Bible plan, and um, I'd love for you to follow along with that and read the Bible through in a year. Um, it takes a little bit of commitment, but it's not too hard. And if you miss a day, just skip it. You'll catch it next time um, as you come around next year. So, um, And that's what I do. I just constantly, you know, so that's my goal every day. Um, you know, I'm reading that, and every year I kind of read through the Bible every year. So um, anyway, here's, here's three thoughts real quick from this story. Um, first off... It appears that God um, really wants you to hear from him yourself. And it, it's not that we shouldn't have a value for others, but here's the reality. Many of us are going to church, and the only time we hear from God is from the pastor. Come on, somebody. Some of us, the only time we hear from God is, is when somebody's preaching, or um, for some of us, the most Bible we get is at church. And um, that's just, you're not going to get where God wants you to go unless you learn to hear God's voice for yourself. And that may sound crazy, but that is literally the difference in Christianity. Well, there's several differences, but that's the major difference in Christianity and every other religion is that we still get to talk to our God. Uh, he speaks to us. He moves in us. Um, and, 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 and so we, we can experience that. And so uh, that, that's kind of my, my first challenge. Hear from God. Don't just wait for your pastor. Um, hear from God for yourself. Um, second... Um, we see that there is a, uh, 
um, a problem with, uh, or, or a, a level of discernment that God expected this prophet, the young prophet, to have. And, uh, and that's part of the problem that we have sometimes, um, and especially if you're, you're a young Christian in here, is that we, we don't discern what's from God and what's not from God. And there's a certain level of discernment that God wants us to have, to be able to tell, oh, you know, I appreciate what you're saying, but I don't think that's what God wants for me. And um, there's even movements, and there's even, um, you know, there's been people who have left our church to go to be a part of other things that may be under the banner of Christianity, but uh, probably weren't God's best for their life. Maybe they had some crazy beliefs or whatever the case was. Um, and, and, you know, I prayed for them, encouraged them, challenged them a little bit. Uh, but again, just because... Um, thank you, Jenny. Uh, just because it says it's from God, um, Michelle, isn't it funny how those things kind of work out? Anyway, just because it says it's from God doesn't mean it's from the Lord, and you need to you need to have a level of discernment in that. And uh, thirdly, um, as we wrap this up here, uh, why did the old prophet go lie to the young prophet? And this is kind of a challenge for for some older believers in here is that often. Um, we feel like we've missed our glory days or like our glory days are past us. And, 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 and that's how we get in these kind of church squabbles between generations is older generations are like, man, you young people don't get it. You don't understand. And, 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 and we try to act like we've got some kind of wisdom from God. When if we were honest, maybe we didn't even pray about it either, you know? And like, man, you really need to pray about that. Cause I don't think that's from God. Like, well, you didn't even pray about that. So before you tell somebody it's not from God or that you've heard God, um, no matter how far along on the journey you are with God, you should pray about it first. And so um, I, I think in a, in a roundabout ways, and this may be a little bit strong, but I think sometimes we as an older generation lie to the younger generation. And we, we hold them back from what God's spoken to them uh, because of our own insecurities and our own, uh, we don't want to get left behind and we don't want to be the old prophet. And so we got to find a way to marginalize the young prophet so that we don't feel like we're just the old prophet sitting at home doing nothing and and so that's the challenge. God has put you in a place, if you are part of an older generation, um, to encourage young believers, to encourage them in what God said, and not try to rein them back or pull them back home to eat with you when God said, don't eat in this place. Go forward. Keep going. Keep moving ahead. Um, and so we want to encourage people in that. Let me pray for you. If you got any prayer requests, um, I want to, want to pray for you. I'll drop them in. I'm going to pray real quick because I, I promise you, try to keep it around five minutes. I'm at... Where am I at now? Seven minutes. So, Father, I pray that you bless everybody watching this. You pour out your spirit on us. Help us, God, to encourage each other, God. Uh, help the older generation to encourage the younger generation. Help us to hear your voice, Father. Help us to have a level of discernment about what you're wanting to do in our lives and, and through us. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Lord, touch all those that are going through cancer stuff. Lord, I know there's a lot. Those who've lost loved ones, God. Those who have elderly parents, God, who are maybe um, getting towards the end of their life, God, that you would encourage them. You'd strengthen those families, God. Give them joy and peace in the midst of heartache, God, and be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Hey, I love you guys. Um, and uh, I'm excited about what God's doing. And so go, if you, do, if you haven't, um, go like the page. I put a link in there, and I'll put another link in. Go like this page here because I want you to, that's, that's going to be kind of a, a place we can all connect. So um, there we go. All right. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Don't just like my comment. You have to actually click on the link and go like the page. So um, anyway, trying to keep it short and sweet today and, uh, and we'll see how this works moving forward. And if it doesn't work well, we'll go back to the other way. It's just a little experiment. We're going to try it for a week. So um, love you guys. And uh, hey, let's go change the world today. Encourage somebody. You can do it. And uh, God's got a plan for you. And spend some time. My goal in keeping this shorter is so you've got a little bit more time. Spend some time with the Lord. Um, and, and I may post a little worship song here that you can listen to uh, off of YouTube. And, uh, and, and, and read your Bible. Okay, If you want to follow along in one year Bible reading plan, you can listen to that in your car using the, the Bible app or whatever the case is. So love you guys. And we'll see you tomorrow for another short one again starting right at 7.30. And we'll give you about 60 seconds to jump on. Thanks. Bye.